So I am here at Zinnia Event Center for this exhibition, this beautiful exhibition of Danny Wonders. And this space is just phenomenal, the way that it's been designed. We'll talk to Danny today and also talk to the man behind this creativity that you see behind me, just showing Ghana from like the north to the south, to the east, to the west, upper east, upper west, like all the regions represented in, in all of these masks behind me. It's just a core part of Ghanaian spirituality, Ghanaian history, heritage, culture. And then we're gonna see the photographs that Danny has shot that really exude the uh, emotion and spirit of the people. So this is gonna be a really great day and don't forget to um, like, share and subscribe this video. Um, so let's uh, go and talk to Danny. Danny Wonders is doing here at Zinnia Event Center. This is his second solo, ex solo exhibition. He did one last year during the year of return. And now this is his second solo exhibition featuring his work. This is all about Ghana and Ghana's culture. Second exhibition for Mr. Danny Wonders. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. You know, I love the way the moon is just. Oh. And I've got all the stories are coming here in two minutes. Who's coming through? The stories for each image. Okay. Wow. Okay, you know what? I, w I just want to ask you, you know, what inspires you when you're shooting? Because it seems like you're really inspired by the young children, because I see a lot of young children in your images. I mean, the future of, of the world is, is the children, in it? And I feel like children carry this energy that they don't have any, any doubt, any fear, any hate on them. They're not like... Um, and I'm trying to put, put this Even if they're up. shy, they're not really shy. They're just not confident yet. So it just takes you to just show them that oh you know i'm one of you i may be grown i got a beard but i'm i still got that same vibe you got i got the same vibe you know what i'm saying because mm -hmm. i feel like it's important to not let i keep i i draw to children because a lot, a lot of us have children their child in in us and we can't let that go because of oh i'm 30 now and i got an apartment now and i got a child now so i gotta relax and i gotta take things easy no it's not about, about that so take me through these pieces. What what is is each section a theme? Yes, basically each section is a is a is a, was a moment in in each time. Okay. So all these were taken on the same day. 
This one was taken separately. This was in Cape Coast, the sunset time. Well, I was on another boat and I saw this boat and I saw the moon and I was like, oh my God, where's my camera? Had it on me. And this was what the image that came out. And what I like about this picture, right, is the message on the boat. The Lord is my refuge and my fortress. I just thought that is just lit. Mm. And none of them even knew what was going on. It just looks like a, just a, 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 like a, a moment. This was my first time in Kokrobite Beach. I liked how these guys were just together, just having a conversation amongst themselves. They were actually looking at these guys. Oh, they were looking at them. Yeah, they were actually looking at these guys. Because these wow. guys, they would just have some random wood and they were trying to surf. Oh. Like every wave Creativity. that was coming, this was deep in the, in the ocean. So I was in the ocean with my hand, like <laughs> the camera was about to swallow, the water was about to swallow my like, whole camera. And whenever the like wave came, I, I would jump with it. Did you get me? So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And in that water is where I saw these guys too. Yeah, yeah. So these yeah. guys fell off there and okay. they just chose to just chill around there. Okay. Because okay. they could swim. Yeah. Yeah, so they, they, whenever the wave comes, they will still see with it and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah. And all these pieces, you you have prints of them all for sale today? Or all of these of pitch prints are for sale. I've actually got the presses. All of them are for sale. And they're limited too. Um, it's 10 pieces each. Oh, um, that's good that you did limited edition. Yeah, it's 10 pieces each. So A3s, and they're cheaper here than they would be online. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. A3, A2, A1, A0. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. So the so starting price is one eighty dollars and it ends at three twenty. Okay. For the print. Alright. If you want this or these originals, we can speak in it. <laughs> this, this one is one of my favorites. This Why? little guy. Why? Because I'm gonna bring him, you know. Here. He's gonna be here today? He's gonna be here. Because I should, he, I should actually call, What time call is he coming? His dad. I should I should call his dad. Because he is like it's like you see this innocence. You see confidence, yes. you see love, you see hope, like you see all these emotions all in one place. And, it's, and you also see him, it's like he's thinking, I'm the greatest kid here. Mm, no, that's, that's literally the, the confidence. This woman, she's the face of your, your current yes. flyer. Yes. What's her story? Do you know what? Was she easy I to literally was in the car. I saw her and I was like, oh, because I saw her, her hair, because I'm going to do a hair series. And when I said that, the next day I just saw her and I was like, what? <laughs> Could I help? So I'm like, yo, this is her natural hair. This is just how she's just outside with it. Because yeah. usually you see this kind of hairstyles for when like there's a photo shoot concept and people do their hair like that. But people don't actually wear their hair like this. So the fact that she was just naturally just confidently wearing her hair like that, I was like, yeah, I, like, I need to definitely capture this um, a vibe in it, you know what I'm saying? You're extremely talented. How many years have you been shooting? Um, I've been doing photography for just above, nearly three years. I would say two, two, two years and a bit. So it's a natural gift. Yeah, I mean, I started on film, innit? And I, I always say film is moving image and photography's image. So I'm here inside of the exhibition. This is Danny's second exhibition. He did one last year in December as well. Um, December to January, I believe. I don't remember the exact dates, but it was towards the end of 2019 um, into 2020. And it was his first exhibition. It was in Laboni and it featured um, you know, very, very um, you know, beautiful photographs that were showing Ghana. And once again, he has the second exhibition that is showing all these images of places and people in Ghana. And he just really exudes this talent that is just a natural gift. He uh, was living in the UK and has relocated to Ghana. He is another one of the diasporans who's made a decision to start life in Ghana and just catch a vibe here. There's so many stories to tell. There's so many things that those of us who are here are sharing with the world about this country, um, about the continent of Africa. And, um, you know, this work here, like this one, I love this. Look at this, look at the imagery. The color is just so rich. And this really is depicting real life. Fishermen, like, real life. And I also like the way he captures people's emotion. Like, you really see the emotion in their faces 
and just capturing daily life um, experiences that people are having and especially with young people you know he seems to have a really um, strong connection with capturing images of young people I like this one here it's like they're in mid-conversation about something um, and this is an example of someone doing their chores we all know young people are doing their chores around the world um, but yeah this exhibition is going on right now for a few days um, at the Zinnia Event Center in Accra so um, you can come out, hang out, it's a great outdoor space um, and then you come inside to come and see the exhibition. There are some shirts that have some of his prints on it for sale as well that you can pick up while you're here. Um, as he had mentioned, a lot of this stuff is limited edition. He has limited, um, limited numbers available of his prints, so yeah. And if you're not able to be here in Ghana, I'm sure there's a way you could order some of his prints. If you go online uh, onto his website, you can uh, be able to order or you can follow him on Instagram, send him a message and make arrangements to order your own. This is 400 cities. This is 400. This is also 400. This is 300. And this one is 300. This is also 300. And, and this one is 300. Okay, those are the ones in the front. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going doing Ashon. That's my name. But my other name, my social media names is um, Ganyovi Din Din on Facebook and Ganyo Din Din on Instagram. Um, uh, I do production design and art directing for music videos, um, film, commercials, anything. I do graffiti, I'm an artist, everything art and creative, that's what I do. So, so talk about this that you have here at this exhibition back here. I see this is beautiful. Alright, um, um, Danny um, Wanda is my friend. So he hooked me up that he's doing an um, exhibition called Team This Is Ghana. I was like, okay, yeah, this is Ghana. We're already in Ghana. Alright, let's mix the tribal stuff together. I was like, okay, how do we put it together? Bring some ideas. So I asked him about what he's got and he just showed me some few references. So I just did the idea development, took a little bit here, took a little bit there, put it together, and then just form something that will just tell a story about tribal Africa and Ghana together. So when you look about, when you look around, it's like everybody is involved. Yeah. Everybody is involved. All the ancestors are present. We feel ourselves inside. You can feel ourselves yourself inside too. And then we have the ground too which represents our power and royalty and our worth and strength. So it's kind of like in the center of all our ancestors and all our souls, all of us together. The orange background is life and feminine power, the you know. Yes, yeah, like ripe. So because it's a, a, like a female or a lady is like a fruit. When you are not ripe, you are not set so when you are ripe you are set so it is when they are ripe is when they give life so when when a fruit is not ripe you can't eat it you can't touch it when it's ripe it's like life now so the orange background actually represents life and feminine strength yeah and then we have the ghana um yes we have the ghana um the ghana flag set the Ghana flag state, people have been doing all the time. We've been doing like red, gold, green, and all that stuff. I'm like, okay, this time we are in Ghana. Ghana is full of like wasp print and colorful like patterns and stuff like that. Why not just use like um, traditional clothes and wax print to make the Ghana flag? So this is um, this red is for funeral lots of a, a, um, a blood from a relation and then this one is our worth and gold and our riches 
and this is green but there's another pattern inside which are like fruits like so this is our food and these are our greens okay. and then we have the council of elders the three council of elders but they are not three men but it's two females we have two females and one grand man there okay. but they form a union they form a quorum and it's more of like um in Ghana, we say yabi yombue alo yabi numbue which means that go and ask your your elder go and ask the elders go and ask our grandma go and ask grandpa for wisdom so they are in a council of um yeah wisdom something like that and then we have we have our, our pillars our column our pillar of columns that we also did that's just like a creative idea with um african patterns yeah. yes so these are african patterns and different all mixed together all mixed together just to like give a feel of yeah. what, what, what we do and then that's there this yeah this one too and then this one particular this is a gun this is a gun symbol it has a meaning like how we have the gun how we have the dinkra symbols and stuff like that there's a tribe in Ghana to call guns they also have their own symbols so some of these symbols some of these symbols especially come from this and then we have the large column which which we just wanted to do you know when you go to the north and then some part of south africa we have these um ladies who do the mud paintings on on some of their mud houses and we wouldn't follow any street brush lines or anything we weren't, we weren't looking at like sharp lines or anything we wanted to look like more travel and more free okay. just like how the women do it but because it's like a smooth pillar like you it has this smooth surface but it should actually have like a rough wanted to do like a, a mud column or a mud pillar that shows like um, our strength of stability so when you look around that's what we have okay. and we just added the gold in the middle this okay. is Ghana Great. so it's actually like a whole package this is Ghana is a whole package it's a whole like a whole experience that like I would love people to experience it more I mean yeah. thanks today here on this episode of your guide on Ghana I hope you've enjoyed seeing this exhibition by Danny Wonders and um, seeing that just the dancers perform as well as seeing the men behind the set design outside in the outdoor space it's just absolutely beautiful and captures the culture of Ghana and Africa at large so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and um, I'll see you next time